Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here. In this video, I just want to show you a very interesting lab, which is talking about the network automation. So what is really network automation? Network automation is nothing more than you write some scripts on the Python language, and then this script will be sent to many routers, and then the configuration will happen to those routers. So instead of you, for example, if you have a company where you have many routers in the companies, let's say 10 or 15 routers, and you want to configure, let's say, imagine the firewall rules, you want to configure them on all the routers. So instead of going to each of the router and write the firewall rules or copy and paste them, so you have, but you have to move to from one router to another or to connect to it through your SSH and do it one by one. So instead of doing that, you just write on Python a script and this script will push all the configuration to all the MicroTik routers and then all the routers will have the firewall rules. But that's not only that. You can also, for example, one router you want to configure to have BGP and the other router you want to make make it the VRRP configuration on it, the other route you want to do OSPF configuration. So also you can do that using the Python and then with the uh, language of Python, you can push all the configuration to those routers and it works. So this is how it's going now, the uh, world of networking. So uh, you will see that more and more people are getting involved into Python. Python is a language, programming language, which is uh, somehow not very easy, but also it's not very difficult to learn it. But uh, yeah, for us as network engineers, we really care uh, to learn Python, not to make a gaming or to make web development or whatever. We care only for the part which is for networking, for configuring network devices, especially MicroTik. So I'm going to do this video to show you how important is Python and how with one click, I could now send all the configuration of the uh, firewall rules that I have on the routers. So let me show you what I have as a scenario. So this is my scenario. This is what is uh, on GNS3. This is my computer, Cloud1, connected to a switch. And this computer is connected to router one and router two. Those are MicroTik routers. I only have IP addresses now between my computer and the routers. You should have reachability because my Python is installed on the PC, which is here, uh, cloud one. So on this PC, I have Python and I should be able from my PC reach to the router one and router two. And if you want, we can just go to the command prompt of my computer. And I make ping router one as 192.168.1.1. It's reachable. Router 2, 192.168.1.253. It is reachable. So that's it. I don't have any configuration on those routers. And if you want, we can go to the this router 1. And here I can say export. And you can see I only have this IP address. And there is the default IP address. Let me remove that one. So that is the only thing I have on the router is IP address on router 1. Same on router 2. Now, what I need is on my course, which uh, talking about the MicroTik security, and uh, I have explained to you different type of firewalls to be able to uh, cover your router from all type of attacks. So uh, like uh, the distributed denial of service attack, like ICMP, Smurf, like uh, different type of attacks. I have showed you on a complete course that I'm going to leave the link of this course in this description from where I have explained to you the details about the type of attacks and how to secure your routers using the firewall rules. So how to do that. Now, I really want to apply all those firewall rules in those routers. So let's say that those routers are connected to the internet. I just want to protect them. To do that, I have to go to IP firewall and create one rule after the other on the filter rules. And this take a lot of time. What I can do instead, I have written a script on Python. That's it. A script on Python. And then now you will see by one click, I will have all the firewall rules that are uh, going to be sent to those routers and will be there. So if I show you now on IP firewall, there is nothing here on the, the firewall rules on the router one, also address list because an address list will be added. There is nothing here, router two, IP firewall, nothing here in filter rules, nothing on the address list. All right, let's go to Python. Now, I know that you may say to me like, okay, we're we going to learn Python in this video. No, we are not. I'm just going to show you a teaser video just to show you how important is uh, network programmability is becoming. All right, so that's what we need to do. Now, this is the script that I have uh, written. So it's saying that I want to send comments, which are those comments. I made them on the firewall. So this is the script. Actually, what it does, it do SSH to the routers 
and then it will send all the comments. So now what I need to do, I just want to run it. So I can go from here, run, and this is the name of my script, and I click on run, and here we go. You can see that this has started working. It is sending all the firewall rules now, and believe it or not, now both routers, router 1 and router 2, have the firewall rules installed, because I have here finished with exit code zeros. So this is Python, this is uh, the application I use, which is uh, uh, PY Charm. That's uh, the application I use for Python. And now if we go to here, this is router one. Look, we didn't have anything on router one. Now all those firewall rules are there with their comment. That I put comment here. They are in a good order, like I, I put them, you see? So all the firewall rules are already there. And also because uh, we have created bogans here, so there is an address list as well added over here for the bug and IP addresses. So that is router one. Let's go to router two. Again, also router two, the firewall rules are there. The same firewall rules that I created on router one that are also on router two. And this is the address list bug. So yeah. Come on, guys. We have to learn Python. We have to learn how to make network automation with a microtech router. We should do that for this reason. I'm going to build a course to show you the main things that we need to know on Python to be able to communicate between the Python and the Microtech routers to be able to configure them. So something like this, by the end, you should be able to do. So imagine like if you have a wireless ISP or you have an ISP and you have a lot of CPE routers for your customers that you want to put the configuration for them, you just one click on the uh, on the Python, and then this will be sent to, every, to all the uh, CPE routers. Imagine you want to do more than that. So everything you can do it with a Python. Now we need to learn something about Python. We need to learn some basic things uh, that we require for uh, us as network engineers. So that's something I'm going to show it to you when I'm going to do a course about the network automation of Microtech using Python. So yeah, this is uh, what I wanted to show you in uh, this video. It's just a teaser video to show you how nice is to work with uh, Python and with network automation to the Microtech router. And you can see the result is really nice. You can see just one, we made one click and yeah, that's it. And if you look to the uh, script that uh, it is written on Python, it's not very big. You can see this is the script, but this script can do all the configuration that we have uh, uh, got on the routers. So this is what I wanted to show you in this video. I hope that this video makes you a bit interested about learning network automation and programmability and also to learn Python because this is the future. We have to follow the future and we should be able at some point to be able to write the scripts on Python to propagate all the configuration to all our routers. So I hope that this video was uh, informative for you and I will see you in other videos.